in this video we are going to see the propeller and how to choose a propeller for your quadcopter so first what is a propeller propeller is a kind of wing which is going to convert rotational energy into thrust so that thrust helps the quadcopter to move in the air so coming to the types of propellers there are some types means some prop some propellers are prepared with carbon fiber here you can see the carbon fiber and there are some other propellers propellers propeller like wooden propellers so if you are choosing a propeller it should be a lightweight coming to the specifications of the propeller propellers the important specification is size of the propeller so here in the picture you can see the size of the propeller is 10 into 4.5 so what is this 10 and 4.5 here 10 means the length of the propeller in inches so the length of the propeller in inches is 10 and coming to 4.5 it's a pitch pitch of the propeller is nothing but for one revolution how many inches it will move in the air or how much distance it will travel in the air so here we can see this is 4, 10 into 4.5 sized propeller means for one revolution this propeller can travel 4.5 inch of distance so coming to types of propellers we are having two one is clockwise and counterclockwise propeller so clockwise and counterclockwise propeller so how to identify the clockwise and counterclockwise propellers so generally on the propeller you can see along with the size that is 10 45 there is one more alphabet that is R so if there is any alphabet like R or P this is a clockwise propeller so this propeller should connected to the clockwise direction motor so here in my quadcopter these two are going to rotate in clockwise direction so this clockwise propeller is going should be connected to the motor which is rotating in clockwise direction similarly if there is no alphabet after dim dimension of the propeller then it is counterclockwise here you can see only 1045 so here only the size of the propeller is indicated but here along with the size there is one alphabet that is R so this is clockwise propeller and this is counterclockwise counterclockwise propeller so by seeing these two things we can indicate or we can identify which is clo clockwise and which is counterclockwise propeller so the clockwise and counterclockwise propeller doesn't depend upon the color so just check the number on the propeller so here you can see this is here it is having a alphabet R after 1045 10 means 10 and 45 is 4.5 inch pitch so this is a clockwise so this clockwise should connect it to the motor which is rotating in clockwise direction now how to choose propellers for your motor there are many types many dimensions of propellers like 11 inch propeller 12 inch propeller so it depends upon your motor so while buying the motor see the data sheet of the motor so in the data sheet they will mention the suggested propeller so here I am going to use 1000 kV motor 1000 kV for 1000 kV motor they suggested 10 inch propeller so I am going to use a 10 inch propeller if if I use a 12 inch propeller for this motor this motor will get higher load and it will rotate slowly so if you are fixing a higher propeller like 12 inch or 13 inch propeller your motor should have more torque so that that particular motor will run your propeller simply 
if the size of the propeller is increasing we have to select the motor which will rotate in which will rotate with lower rpm lower the rpm higher the size and if the size of the propeller is decreasing the motor kv should be higher now how to connect this propeller to the motors so along with the motors you will get these things so these things are nothing but bullet connector by using this bullet connector we are going to connect the propeller to the motor so here in this quadcopter this motor is going to rotate in clockwise direction so here I am going to select the clockwise propeller here you can see this one is the clockwise propeller so every propeller will come in pair along with the propeller set you will get some rings like this Here in the picture you can see these are the rings. So you have to select the appropriate ring for your motor shaft. So here I have taken one ring. First place this thing. After that insert the ring into the propeller. So by using this ring this propeller will fit tightly to the shaft of the motor. After that, tighten the bullet using a thin screwdriver. Make sure that this bullet connector should fix tightly or otherwise at the middle of flight the propeller may come out. Similarly, we will connect one more propeller. So here this motor will rotate in counterclockwise. So for that purpose, I am going to choose a counterclockwise propeller. Here this is the counterclockwise. There is no indication after the dimension of the propeller. So if you want to lift higher weights or otherwise if you want to put a camera to your quadcopter, you have to choose a motor with lower KV so that it will get more torque the torque will help to drive the propeller of big size next after inserting the ring insert the propeller and use the bullet connector to fix the propeller to the shaft of the motor so whenever this motor rotate in clockwise direction Thrust will be generated in downwards and finally the quadcopter will move into the air. This is how you have to select the propeller for your quadcopter.